Are you guys looking for a cheap and easy 2x2 two two white gap design? Well, I've got you guys. So, I don't, you know, I'm just like building up some design. I built it before, but yeah. It's a 2x2. Two two. I don't have a build cost, but the build cost will be shown at the end of the video. So, if you want to just check out the build cost, go to at the end of the video. Yeah. So, this is our simple 2x2. Two two. Make sure you have a factory door in front. And then just have a normal door over here. Right, so how I usually place my TCs. I'm not sure there's a new update and all for the TCs, but I'm not able to add the five box loot room, but you're placing your TCs. If you can't place this, it's been happening to me lately, so. Like it says, I can't place it. No, like I didn't like it. It's literally going through the TC. Try one more time, and uh... yeah, it's probably patched. I hope not. I'm gonna read the patches, but so place your TC for the full box loot room. Or in these pot pots. Now, if you want, uh, I'm just gonna build some different than for the second loot room. Give you that, uh. Six box, it's a six, it's a six box loot room. So, you know, add your number four boxes. I never do it like this. It's always five box. You, sometimes you might need that extra box. Who doesn't always want an extra box? So you're just gonna wanna place it somehow. You're actually good at placing and then that was just it. I was making fun of myself, not you guys. And then, special box. Hey, I'm not sure. Yeah. So how are you? I like doing it. I like making all two by one armored. The reason why is raid protection, but uh, a lot of you guys might disagree with me. I like making the whole two by two. Um, you guys don't have to, but. It's just a thing that I do, and make the shoe mail. You don't have to, but all the shoe mail that are on the Shoe mail. Shoe mail the thing when you're ready. And now it's time for you to get your mind stuff down. Um, I don't really like the new update. A lot of people are gonna just probably have turbots all around. All around. And just like see if there's a guy. We're just like just have turret like we already do it but just have like spray with turrets. So like yeah, but I really it's good but like I just I don't enjoy it. Um wanna get yourself some armor doors. That and that's the main that's the main two by two. This is sheep mail. Uh, so I said sheep, so I guess we'll make it. The honey, honeycomb at least gotta be sheep mail. At least these pots. No, the whole thing must be sheep mail. It's like it's just, just something I like to do. But you don't have to. You can make it stone. But I recommend when you get to that point. Everything, she know, get everything off the whole two by two. That's uh, the thing that I do. Give the protection for the two more, just more protection for the two by two. The better that would be. Um, ray defense. I'm gonna do a ladder hatch up for ray defense. Now, if you have it like this, no. It's not, it's just, if you do it like that, then that's the best, so. The reason why we do this is we're gonna have an airlock here. Simple airlock. For these, uh, we'll jump up and add the furnaces. Add our furnaces. Oh, sorry, I'm uploading a while, just... 
I made some like I made some huge play a couple days ago. I didn't record it, dude. It was insane. I I got like Tommy and Sar out with just an Yoka. You know, it's kind of like guaranteed. But, like the guy when he gets just with it hard. So um, this like this is like a trio duo base. If it's a duo base, I want to make it fully G metal. But if you're a trio, yeah, you guys should be able to afford it's up to you, you can have honeycomb here, but um, I like having some extra boxes. It's always good having them extra boxes, and plus it's like honeycomb too. If you add uh, these, yeah, the windows. That's what we're gonna add, so we the honeycomb. So, so it's like around 20 boxes up here. So, so like have all like the drop off boxes up here. If you're, like, you wanna and then you can place beds up here for like emergency respawns. I'm gonna just build some like random bases. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Make sure it's flush, cause you won't be able to place these two. These two. And then every day you get off, you just put windows on them. You can use armored, but you know, have, if you can afford it, just put that. You know, but place your boxes. Not hard to place them. Just place the middle one first and then these two are easy. These are like get on the corner so you don't fall off. And then here. Add this here. I don't know, I don't know, no, I don't know one of the white gaps, I'm gonna test them, test some white gaps, so, get these, and get these ones, same thing that we did for those, it's like honeycomb, and play it for boxes, now for trio, if you're like, this is like a quad base as well, like if you really need to man, 20 boxes, like a quad man, not a five man, I'm thinking two by two. It's ten, five man. So let's get to like, I forgot to do these ones up here. So, so I forgot to tell you guys a six box loop. Go here. Do it before this. God darn it. Do it before this. I'm sorry guys. Do this. Right. You have one there. I have a wall. Come on, right there. Just have your form up. Like this. Then you know, go to your thing. Destroy the form up. And then you guys know what you do. I do recommend doing this in stone. It is way easier. I think everything in here is stone. So, we'll get to this. We'll get to this later. We'll get to this later. I promise. I'll just show you guys in like another two by two, two by one, just because I'm not trying to like. So. So now you see, now we're using stone, so, yep, guys, sorry if you guys are on like 10,000 stone tonight, yeah, so, let's your crowd up here, now, it's time to get to the white gaps, so, go three squares out, I don't know what that is, these kind of work, so these are some other wide gaps, another base that I know of. Let's see if they work. Yeah, they still work. You now you got that little peak in that. That peak right there. Yeah, they work. It just 
just you'll have more white gaps. So, um, so I'm not sure if we can do it. Yeah, you can't do it. So this won't be our white gap, sadly. The good white gaps, but uh, it can't be sadly, today. today. Okay, so we'll do a. Like a four by four, right? Which way out? Do this. Do this. I'm gonna just do this normal wide gaps that I like doing. It's just a wide gap that everyone uses. Um, and if you want, you can't connect the base. It's not good. Okay, so we're going to make, um, outer GC, but for these forward sides, which we're now. I don't know what I'm doing, guys, so. I want to put a square. Why wouldn't I want to put a square? Why are not? Okay, well, we'll just do the wide gaps that we're going to be doing now. Just these simple wide gaps, you know, like, you don't have to work your butt off for, like, some wide gaps that you're going to do. Just do some simple build out, and your wide gaps are, wide gaps are coming to life. Here, it's really, you know, I can build some honeycomb. No, just leave that there. Do it like that. I think you just got three squares out. No, you can't. Just go four squares out. Four squares out, and then a triangle, and then just build like a circle, and then you should be able to place a triangle there. And there you go, and then. You know, this, this is not. It's pretty expensive. Like I'm just like you know like you want like a I don't know I think it's like somewhere near somewhere near around 30, 30 rockets I'm not sure but it's over ten as I can say if you go through doors and way over ten we have completed our white gap so what do we do for them make some entrances on each white gap side for me. Go like this, and you'll shoot up space for one of like these. On some of them. Now. Go like this, and then you now if you're a four man. You want to get locker. Bed. So this is how we're going to do it. Locker and beds. Place a locker. Place a locker. That, that. So, so all this in so you feel safe. Uh, I'll show you how to get on the roof. Leave this one open. And then place this. Feet on your roof. So, for this, you see there's a jump up here, so. This will not remove stability. You just gotta jump over them. Not hard. And you can put them on these. And I ask, clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. How will I open them up? Well, good question. So, get a small box. Like put it like like right here or something like that. So when you respawn, you open up the hand, then you get your hammer. So add frames where they can be placed for more protection. Might to pick up the box to place uh, a couple more garage doors, but then you place your boxes and 
Okay, we're basically done with the floors. Place factory doors or industrial industrial doors around the base. Now it's time for your white gaps. Room like this, don't do them like that. That's how you fall. So you die. So what you're gonna do? Some squares, baby. Like that. It'll give you a nice pattern. this to connect them I hope this works like I really hope it works like this will be some cool base works. and then just add these so now for these you're gonna want Push all your brain, boys. It's not hard. And for your white caps. Here, place one of these for more peaks. The reason why we add this is so so you don't fall off the edge. You can't you can fall off, but I think we can fix that. I hope we can. You can fall off, so be aware. But you do get a little sweet angle, like it's your roof camping. Don't roof camp, guys. It's it's not healthy. But uh. Put that in, and if you want them for a little, little roof peak, if someone's in your shooting floor and you're on the roof, you know, you don't have to though. If you think you get a disadvantage, then I'll put it there. Okay, so now let's get to the base looks like so far. Like this too to get a yeah that's that's the angle we want there. So two threes and then it even makes it look cooler. So you like that? There you go. Get a sweet angle. Look at that. And then add some there. <sighs> so now we'll, we'll, we'll get to the connecting the wide gaps part. So now for this, just go like this. So now. Now go here, go four squares out, and I think this should be enough for an outer. No. So go five, six, seven. How about seven squares? How about six? Six is six good? Okay, so go six squares out four times and four outers. It's good enough, honestly. This is like, you can't build a bigger base for... It's pretty cheap though. Like, you could build a saber and have somewhat of a good time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six squares out, guys. All you need. 
And then you're gonna have a gay house and everything. I'm not gonna you add a door or whatever you want here. For gatehouse, you wanna go over here. So add hackles. I'm gonna do some styly, stylish gatehouses because who doesn't wanna see if they're getting door cams, you know? I do. So build these and do one of these. Can't add one here. But now you listen you have little drop-off boxes. See people can get your drop off at least no one can get in your drop off boxes. And then connect this to your outer TC. And you can connect this to the outer to that too. You have to connect it to keep it open. Every single time. Um, Right here, boys. You don't have to do it, but you know. You, you guys see the point. Just do that on every side. Uh, that's... I'll do it. It's fine, guys. Make the video. Nah, I. The, okay. Be it any, but just do that on every side of the base. That's basically the base. And then just add a compound. I'll show you guys. Just do a add a compound. You guys can literally. Do it how do the compound however you want. If you see that you're not gonna be able to push it, just go out. You know, you add your little peaks and then you just go. Then you do that. That's how you build your compound and you're able to fill. See how much life furnace it was. You can fit. One, two, three. I think you can only fit two. Just fit two. So you got two. You have six, like six. So two. That's three. So three, six, nine, twelve. You can have twelve large furnaces if you want. That's the base. I'm gonna show it like this. That's the base, boys. Enjoy it. That's my base, son. I swinger it's called the swinger v2 see you guys